So I might have an odd question for us all here. What do death, a presence, and a wee bit of moon magic have to do with one another? Well, surprisingly plenty. And not just, and don't stop together either, I reckon. But for us here today, it all comes down to a couple of sneaky, yet arguably insignificant tricks with the celestial portal and the revival mechanics of this game themselves. Two topics that we ourselves just revisited this very year at that. For good reason too, as apparently many folk still don't quite understand both of these realms, but here's the general gist of one of those topics here today. You die, and you have no other way to revive yourself, you can do so at a touchstone anywhere in the world. Die again, however, and the first stone you used will be off limits for the rest of time. And no, not kidding. And with but two stones in the whole world, well, minus the two in the caves of course, we've got but two chances to get back in the action then, right? No. Not at all, actually, but in keeping with today's theme, what if I told you that instead of switching settings in our favors, we can just quote-unquote abuse the character switching mechanics of the Celestial Portal itself, and in doing so, reset every single touchstone in the world for future recoveries? Well, I just did because we can do just that, everyone. And yeah, yeah, it is as I said. Making the world endless or adjusting settings is absolutely the better option, but this is all still very neat and grounded in the game's legit mechanics, and that's the whole damn point. Which leads us all into the second trick of the day, stealing Christmas. I know it's early, but we can always start any festivities we please whenever we please nowadays, so why not sleep every night away for quote-unquote free presents, am I right? Hmm, yeah. Yes, but actually no, because trying to receive a present every single night is possible, sure, but we will never get anything of value if we do so too soon after our last slumbers. Oh, or if we don't actually decorate the tree enough, of course. But what's this? The game actually gets tricked into thinking we are someone new whenever the portal is used, and then unlimited presents are just a couple Z's away. Yes, yes they are. Just as long as we've also got the resources to actually maintain such a cycle of joy at the end of the day. So then, is such a thing worth it? Hmm, maybe, but you're still heavily relying purely on luck for the best drops within these gifts, so it's gonna be up to you, I say. And I gotta be honest, I'm not really here to tell you that both of these revelations are absolutely groundbreaking things or anything. I just thought they were neat little tidbits suited for a quick bit itself, so here we are. So make your notes and do with it all as you please. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish it to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.